I just received a bouquet of flowers from my husband on my birthday. It's been a long time since the last time he gave me one. He thinks it's just a waste of money because I'm just throwing it away after it withered. This time, he made it grand. We have been from a big fight actually. So I thought it is one of the reasons he gave me flowers this time. They say, when you made your girl mad or got into a fight, you can buy her flowers to recall those happy times. Because a flower isn't just a flower. It is often connected to memories you don't want to forget. I've had an awesome birthday trip and want to preserve my birthday bouquet so as to preserve the memories that comes with it. That's the first thing you have to decide. Think about what you want to do with your flowers. Are you going to frame them and hang them on the wall? So decide what use you will have for the flowers before you start the preservation process. Choose a good location to put them. Find a space in your house for the flowers and look for a spot where they can reside. You should try to find a suitable location before you start. Keep the flowers out of direct sunlight. The light from the sun will cause the color to fade from the flowers, so try to avoid that. Be sure that you have a place to put the flowers where they will be visible but away from any large glass doors or windows. The last thing you want is for your beautiful and colorful flowers to fade after a few months. Be prepared to lose some flowers in the process. Understand that there is a chance that some of the flowers will get damaged or destroyed as you try to preserve them. You can take extra care to ensure that nothing happens but sometimes the flowers end up too brittle and they crack unexpectedly. I brought all the petals from my birthday that they've set up in our room. My husband told me to press the rose petals in a book. Using a book to dry the flowers is the classic low-effort method for drying rose petals. This is a set-it-and-forget-it option that is perfect if you don't need the dried rose petals in a hurry. Place the petals on the interior page of a large book and start by evenly spacing rose petals across the pages of a large book. We suggest using books with coarse pages rather than a glossy finish as the material tends to absorb moisture better. Close the book carefully with petals inside. Once the petals are in place, slowly and carefully close the book to ensure the petals stay in place for drying. You may try to dry petals between multiple pages of the same book, but I suggest limiting the number a bit and you should space the pages out of a bit. Be sure to bookmark the section of the book where your petals are drying. Allow the book to sit for 2-3 to three weeks, lay the book flat, and allow the petals to dry in the pages for 2-3 to three weeks. If you'd like to give your petals a flattened look, place a heavy object on top of the book to compress the petals while they dry. I'll just keep the other petals in a box of chocolate and press it with my other books. Another method I want to try is air drying. Air drying flowers is perhaps the easiest and most common way to preserve flowers. 
I'll just hang the roses using an umbrella hanger and clip it. Hang them upside down in a well-ventilated area and keep them out of the sunlight. Air drying can take a week to several months depending on the flower you are drying. Air dried flowers will be brittle so you will have to handle carefully when taking them down. At first, I wanted to frame the dried roses and hang them on the wall, but I cannot find a nice frame as of the moment. So, I thought of improvising. I used the disposable cake containers that is still from my birthday as temporary shelter for my dried flowers. I hope I've got it all right. Hope you liked the video and my DIY arts and crafts. Next time your partner gave you roses, you can preserve it this easy way. Thank you for watching!